All right, I don't really know a whole lot about uh, dishwashers, but I've got two of them here. I'm gonna start in on that uh, white one and just kind of work my way around disassembling it, pulling off all the metals that I'm gonna find uh, useful. And uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, there's probably uh, along the way, any of you watching this might be thinking, my goodness, does he know what he's doing? And the answer will be no, not really, not really. All right, here we go. See how this goes.
All right, so here's a bunch of screws that I've got. And for that car to go by, here's a bunch of uh, plastic and uh, steel stuff that I cannot use. That's all magnetic or it's plastic. But over here, here's the stuff that I think I can use. This uh, is probably aluminum and that's probably aluminum, although I'll have to take that shaft off so there'll be some additional breakdown with some of that. <clears throat> here's my copper right here, or some of my copper. Because I've got a nice piece of copper pipe here. That'll melt down well. And uh, some brass here. And a small little piece of brass here on the end. So that's good. Copper here. And then these guys have been keeping the electronics while well, there's certainly some copper, or it looks like some copper there anywhere, copper plated. <clears throat> but some of this stuff here, I'm gonna, <coughs> excuse me, here in North Idaho, it's uh, definitely allergy season. So uh, I've got a PC board here, which I'm going to use. I've got a collection of PC boards, a uh, batch from uh, all the hard drives that I uh, tore apart and some other uh, uh, sources that I'm gonna try to do something with that. And then I've got this uh, wire assembly thing that uh, I just need to strip those uh, down <clears throat> and I'll have some uh, copper there. So uh, actually in all of this, you can see it wasn't quite drained. Or out in all of this, majority of that's plastic. Uh, different than uh, the second one that I'm gonna work on where it appears to be mainly metal. Oh, oh, I'll get back to that later. Oh, we'll see that for later. Back to this, back to this. All right, uh, that's mainly plastic and there's some uh, uh, steel stuff on there that I can't use that I'm gonna leave on there. And uh, I'll probably take all of these parts that I can't use, throw back in there, and I'll haul that uh, to the dump. Okay, and take a quick break here, do a little bit of cleanup, and then uh, move on to this one, which I think is going to give me more stuff. Woohoo! Oh, I just heard Anna meow. She's hearing me talk. She wishes she could be out here. Go take a look, see. Anna, is that you? It sure is. Yeah, well, little kitties can't be in the garage. It's kind of dangerous out there for little kitties. All right, so back inside. Good girl. All right, I'll continue this on in a few minutes.
All right, so <clears throat> here we go for round two. I have a better idea of what I'm looking for and how much is in there. So I'm going to first just go after the uh, motor and then any uh, wiring I see. And as I discovered at the end of uh, finishing off that first uh, dishwasher, that the outside of that might be all aluminum. But uh, I'll take care of the... Uh, the uh, known stuff first, and then I'll go after the other stuff. Eh, it looks a little bit meatier and beefier than the other one did. But, got some brass here, copper there, Upper in there, all this. Let's get to it.
exactly sure how this aluminum shell how this aluminum shell is all attached and everything but I'm thinking I'm kind of probably going to stop here a little on the tired side here and uh, the allergies are just killing me and I think I'll just take an angle grinder and chop this up in chunks to finish it off uh, excuse me for all the sniffing I don't think I need to uh, do a lot of filming on that sort of stuff so probably the next time you see this uh, it'll already be in pieces but let me show you what I've got with the other stuff Whew, this GoPro is toasty to the touch okay so I got that front door the wires the windings of the motor and this uh, uh, other motor the windings of that aluminum casing and then I'll uh, also bash this up to get the aluminum casing and then I've got some electronics and a single piece of bronze <clears throat> and I'll take care of that stuff too so I add this to what I've already got it looks something like this again so sorry for the uh, allergies and of course I'll have to liberate that piece of brass so, not a bad haul there, plus all of that aluminum. There's some steel iron that I need to get rid of. And then the rest of that is just junk. I'll probably stash all of that in the other one. All right, I think this is a good place to stop, as I really need to blow my nose.